This is not a jungle gym swinging like an ape destroys this framework. Have a little respect, no graffiti. I am building this castle for all of us. I work very hard doing this. Please do not cause more work for me. Hey, Sammy. Take your chance. So today's mindfulness camp is uh, hot and cold and you're supposed to just be aware of different temperature changes but I think it's a little deeper than that so I think you're supposed to be aware of what your mind's doing like when you're cold and how you're judging it or when you're hot and how you're judging it and how you're trying to escape. Go. Let's explore hot and cold today. What just happened? I just got peed on by my dog. I peed on you? Yeah. So Back. were you warm before? <laughs> no. You warm now? Yep. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Has it been used? Hope so. Oh, it's dang it! What do you think about this, man? There's, there's Sammy up there. We're really high. I like it. What's the temperature feel like up here? A little chillier? A little bit, a little windier. A little windy. Still hot from all the nerves. I like it. Oh, this making me nervous up here? Not really, but like, maybe the adrenaline. This is a little shaky. <laughs> What? You're as high as you need to be right now. There's no reason to shake the fucking thing. I'm gonna leave you fucking here and you can get your own way back so you don't <laughs> stop being dumb. I'm not being dumb. You just read it. Don't fucking There's shake no, it. I'm not swinging like an ape. Yes, you are. No. What do apes do? They grab it and they shake it. <laughs> no. I think swinging like an ape would be on the outskirts of this. Kyle's really mad at me. I don't know where he went, but that's all right. We're at some mystery place Kyle took us. I'm not really sure where we are, but it, but it looks rather promising. There's a cave over there. If that isn't the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my entire life in the middle of the woods. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Hey Kyle, I think this is exactly where we wanted to end up.
Today's challenge is different than temperatures. Uh, it's about to get real cold. It's real warm. Why are you gonna be in it? Probably. There's Kyle. When you're a child, you don't really avoid the cold or the hot. You just like, you see the ocean or water or something and you jump in, it doesn't affect you. But then there, as you get older, you have a certain way that you like the most. Try and make that happen with air conditioning, blank, everything else. It's like, what would happen if you just live in that dis discomfort? Or when you are making these adjustments to get warmer or colder to get back to homeostasis, are you, are you aware of it? I don't really, I don't really know. By the way, this eye right there is pretty awesome. I'm really high up here. In case you're wondering where I was, I was, I was just up there. I think, I, I really think someone just put rock climbing up there, you think? So today's mindfulness challenge was about noticing hot and cold and you know it's always deeper than you think it is. What today was really about was just being aware of avoidance. Is that when something's too hot you avoid it and make it colder, when something's too cold you avoid it and make it hotter. And by avoiding everything you're not really living in it. Even if you're avoiding pain, like Chubb Polis has this really cool thing where when he got hurt, he didn't want any pain meds because he wanted to experience it because that's what life's about, experiencing everything. And again, I didn't really want to go in the cold water, but hey, you got to live for the story and quit judging it and just accept the way things are. That's kind of what I learned today. I've been trying to figure that out for a while, but this really solidified just accepting the way things are and rolling with it. So yeah, I think that's it for today. Uh, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I didn't even know what we were doing today, but life's meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there. See you tomorrow.